Hey everybody, this is question number six on the week 12 quiz access for chapter eight. It's hard to say that fast, quiz access, like that. That's actually quiz access. So this is the Raya company, Araya. I don't know, maybe it's that Disney dragon. Anyway, they purchased a machine for $109,200, January 1st, straight line depreciation uh, is taken each year for four years. Uh, assuming an eight-year life with no salvage value. The machine is sold on January 1st, uh, 2024, during its fifth year of service. Uh, prepare entries to record a partial year's depreciation on July 1st. Record the sale under each separate situation. One, the machine is sold for $54,600. Two, the machine is sold for $45,864. All right. So the first thing we need to do is figure out um, our partial year depreciation. That's what they're asking us for here. We know that that's going to look like a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation for the machinery. But the amounts uh, we have to figure out. So to figure that out, we're going to say, okay. So this asset costs $109,200. It had zero salvage value and had an eight year useful life. So we're gonna divide that by eight to come up with an annual depreciation of $13,650. Um, and then in this year, uh, we're selling it uh, on July 1st, okay? So we're gonna account for January, February, March, April, May, and June or six months worth of depreciation in this year, 2024. So um, I'm just going to, since six months is half a year, I'm gonna take this annual depreciation and divide it by two to come up with uh, one year's worth of depreciation, 68.25. So that should be the amount of depreciation uh, for the year 2024, which is January through June, uh, 2024. I'll check my work just because it will play into my next one. It's telling my answer is not complete because I haven't done the rest of it, but I wanted to make sure that was right before we move forward. Okay, so the next question, uh, or the next thing we have to do, whoops, sorry, not the next question, but the next journal entry it wants us to make. Um, is record the sale of the machinery for $54,600 in cash. So in order to do that, we need to know a few things. We need to know how much cash, which we do know. We need to know how much accumulated depreciation there is uh, on, the, on the asset. And then we need to know um, what we paid for the asset. It does tell us up here what we paid for it. So the only thing we're going to have to figure out is how much the accumulated depreciation is. So to do that, remember, we already calculated in the last one uh, one year's worth of accumulated depreciation, which is 13,650. Plus we know uh, last year, or this, this 2024, we did a half year's of that, a half year's worth of depreciation. So let's see, we purchased it in 2020 and we sold it on July 24th. So we're gonna have a full year's worth of depreciation for 2020, a full year's depreciation for 2021, full year's for 2022, a full year's for 2023, and then a half a year for 2024. So we can take that full year depreciation amount, 13,650, and we can multiply that by four and a half years because that's how long we've had the access, the asset uh, being depreciated. So our accumulated depreciation on the asset as of the time of sale will be 61,425. Another way to look at this is if we had um, a T account, right? Uh, the accumulated appreciation account would start at zero on January 1st, and then on January, uh, or January 1st, 2020. And then on January 1st or December 31st of 2020, we would do that first years. And so we would credit that account of 13,650. And then on December 31st of 2021, we would credit another 13,650, 2022, another 13,650, uh, et cetera. So that at the end of one year, it would be 13,650. At the end of two years, it would be 27,300. At the end of three years, 40,950. 
the end of four years, 54,600. And then at the end of that last year, oh, I forget what it, the half year's worth was, but it was half of 13,650, which was 6825. So we'd have $61,425 worth of accumulated depreciation. So I did the same thing just by doing times four and a half, but I was showing you where I got it from. Um, okay, so whenever we make a sale of an asset, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna debit cash because we're getting cash, okay? And then we're gonna credit the accumulated depreciation account. I'm sorry, we're gonna, sorry, debit the accumulated depreciation account. Uh, we're, they're going to have a gain or a loss. Um, so I'm going to leave that one blank. And then finally, we're going to credit the asset account. In this case, it's called machinery. So again, we know we sold it for $54,600. Our cash will increase by $54,600. We know we have to get rid of the entire accumulated depreciation account. So we figured out just a minute ago that at the time of sale, our accumulated depreciation account had a credit balance of 61,425. So we're going to debit that account, 61,425. And we know that the machinery, the asset account, is going to have a debit balance of 109,200. That's what we paid for it. So we're going to credit that 109,200. And now the difference between these, we're going to have to make this whole thing balance, right? And the difference will be either our gain or our loss on the sale. Uh, so in this case, our 54,600 plus our 61,4, whoops. Okay, I'm having problems here. 54,600 plus 61,425. Um, that's going to be 116,025. So in order to make this balance, we're gonna need another credit balance if we have 116,000 on this side and only 109,000 on this side. So I'll subtract 109, 200, and that will give me 68.25. Now I know just from experience that when I do a credit entry here, that's gonna be a gain on the sale of machinery. I remember that because the gain on a sale of machinery is a revenue and revenues get entered with a credit. Uh, and if it was on this side, a debit side, uh, then it would be a loss. Uh, and that's because a loss on a sale is an expense. So I'm gonna check my work just to make sure I did this right. Looks good. So I can move on to the next part. All right, part three is to record the sale of the machine for a, a lower amount of cash. So again, I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna debit my cash account. And I'll credit, uh, I'll debit my accumulated depreciation account. I either have a loss or a sale, but I don't know yet. So I'm gonna leave that one blank. And then I'm gonna credit my asset account machinery I know my cash was 45,864. That's the amount of cash I received for the sale. We just figured out in the last problem that our accumulated depreciation account has a credit balance of 61,425. So we're gonna debit that account, 61,425, to bring that account balance to zero. And our machinery account had a balance of 109,200 on the debit side. So we're gonna credit that to bring that balance to zero. And now figure out if we need to do a debit or a credit entry to finish it off. So 45,864 plus 61,425. So this time I have 107,289 on the debit side and 109,200 on the credit side. So in order to make it balance, I'll have to debit this account. $1,911. dollars I'll check my work. Oh, so that's going to, and I know if it's on the debit side, that's going to be a loss. Loss of 
loss on sale of machinery. There we go. We can check our work. And it looks like we got it all right. So I hope that was helpful to you uh, and good luck on the rest of the problem.